Hey, Goku. What is it, Chi-Chi? I'm pregnant with Goten. Oh. Oh. Oh, shoot. I'm a ghost. Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Uh... <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphilis, and thank you for joining me here in beautiful San Diego for SDCC 2023. And today, we will be looking at the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Sun Goku Ghost Edition and Super Saiyan 2 Sun Gohan it, this set is exclusive. It will go on P Bandai. I heard from the marketing manager at Bandai. Yes, these are going to go on P Bandai, and also it's on socials and everything. So you should know that this isn't truly an SDCC exclusive. You should be able to get it at a later time. So now that you got that out of the way, don't forget to go to www.dstartoys.com and all the source for awesome action figures where we don't have exclusives, but we do have other action figures. So go ahead and go go there. But before you do that, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so we know when we post new videos. So like all my reviews, I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel right off the bat, and then I'm going to go dive into paint detail, articulation, scale, and accessories. But before we do that, the beginning was just a joke, okay? That happened in the anime. I'm just making a joke. Just getting that out there. Now, <laughs> um, the first thing I want to talk about is the exclusivity. I know someone in the comments is going to post something that's like, oh, that sucks that they're exclusive. Yes, that does suck. That you have to get these at an event or get it later in P. Bandai, and you may never get it at all because of how exclusives are. Um, so the next thing that might happen is you might have to pay a scalper price and I've seen these on eBay go for 200 plus dollars and his retail is 90 yikes Janelle that's a lot of money right oh yeah that's a lot so and again that's one meal so yeah <laughs> so yes yes it's uh, it, it's expensive so is it worth it to get it at the scalper price and hmm if you already own a Goku and you already own a Gohan, then I'd have to say absolutely not. That is way too much. Um, this is very specialized because Goku is translucent. And pretty much you just get the same Super Saiyan 2 Gohan with different hair and some markings here and there. And if that's worth it for you, by all means, you can go ahead and spend the money. But in my opinion, my humble opinion... I don't think it's worth paying scalper price for, for these guys. Let's move Ghost Koo out of the way and let's look Ghost at. Koo? Yeah, I called him Ghost Koo, okay? Janelle's like, why did you call him Ghost Koo? I call him <laughs> Ghost Koo, okay? That's what he is. Let's talk about <laughs> Gohan right here. Um, so, what is the difference between this guy and the original? And I'm going to put the original right here because I brought him with me. And there you can see lots of differences here. You can see that the hair on the left is a translucent kind of metallic yellow where you have more of a, a gradient of orange to yellow matte finish on the right. Also, you're, you're going to kind of notice, yes, the skin tone on the left, that's not just the lighting, it's true. The skin tone on the exclusive is much more pale where this one looks like he's been sitting in a tan booth for a little bit. So there is a difference in skin tone. Next, you're going to notice that there is some scratches on the one on the left, which looks pretty cool. I really like how that looks. Um, that is one addition I thought they should have put in the original because he's battle damage. Therefore, that shows more battle damage, just like in the anime. Another difference you're going to notice is the gi, so the clothes that he's wearing. You'll notice that the exclusive is much more dark in terms of how purple it is it's almost blue so you have like a dark purple on the one on the exclusive and you get a light purple on the original release if you were to ask me which one i would prefer personally let's look now let's look at the sides here mostly my preference is going to be if you took this head and put it on that body and match the skin tone on the face, therefore you would have the perfect Super Saiyan 2 battle damage Gohan. That's what I feel. I'm not too much of a fan of the metallic translucent hair. In fact, it, it needs to be a little bit more bright in my opinion. When you think Super Saiyan 2, you think bright yellow. This one isn't quite there. <laughs> At least that's what I think. So let's move these two aside. Let's talk about Ghost Koo. 
Chanel, you really like that word, ghost coup, huh? I do. Yeah, ghost coup. Yeah. Hashtag ghost coup. Hashtag ghost coup. But no teeth. No, ghost coup. Go, go, well, we'll, we'll figure, we'll, we'll let everyone in the comments figure it out. So, what this figure is based on, the ghost coup, is it's based off the full power Goku. And you really can't compare paint and detail because one is clearly just a uh, like a translucent blue, where this one is clearly Goku. So when it comes to paint and detail, uh, not much there. <laughs> In fact, I think whenever you paint something like this, you, this there's not much paint. In fact, the the plastic usually just comes out translucent blue and they just put it together. I don't think there's much paint. If you there is paint on his belt clearly on his shirt. And uh, the joints, also, that's another thing I have to let you know. Looks like there's paint there, but everything else looks like that's just how, you know, they made him. There really was no paint involved. Whereas, you know, the one on the left definitely is painted. So, there you go. That's when it when it comes to paint detail. Not much is painted on this guy. He kind of just comes like that. So, let's, I want to dive deeper into this guy. I just really like the way he looks. Just look at those eyes, guys. Just look at those beautiful eyes. They look fantastic. This is awesome. This is really cool. I love what they did here. This is a nice addition to your existing full power Goku for your setups and everything like that for when you're posing them. I really like this idea. In fact, I'm starting to think there should be more ghost-like characters. Or maybe, maybe it's just me. Actually, now that I think about it, the only one that would make sense... Actually, there really is no... Ghost Vegeta, even though he, spoiler alert, he did die. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I really like this. This is really, really interesting. So let's move on to articulation and scale. And let me set things up. I'll be right back. All right, I got my trusty ruler here. Let's talk about um, articulation and scale. This guy is standing at six inches tall, Ghost Ku. And the exclusive Gohan is standing at five inches tall, exactly. Now let's do a comp direct comparison to the full power Goku, and yes, they are exactly the same height, no height difference at all. And another thing I have to let you know is that last year's exclusive was Super Saiyan 2, and he had a really long neck. I'm happy to say that this one is not based off the long neck of Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Also, Gohan, look at this, exactly the same size, no big difference there. Let's get some other action figures. Here is my SH Figure Arts Ryu. I haven't brought this guy out in a long time. So let's zoom, let's see you there, yeah. And uh, let's get another figure in here. And here is a Marvel Legends Deadpool. So that's how he scales. Uh, they scale with everything else. And just because I uh, haven't reviewed him yet, I do have the exclusive Majin Vegeta. Here's regular Majin Vegeta, so. Let's talk about articulation, pretty much the same thing. It's version 2 body, everything is the same. So, up and down here at the toe, ball joint here at the ankle, double jointed knee. We have the version 2 joints, not version 3. If you were thinking he had version 3, he does not. So, again, limited on the side kick, but not so much limited on the front kick. And then we have the two articulation points right here in the middle. Don't forget the two neck joints, butterfly joints right here. We have bicep swivel. Also, the joints are really nice and tight, just FYI. Uh, double jointed elbow right there, ball and peg there. They're going to be well above 20 points of articulation. Let's look here at Gohan. Gohan up and down here at the toe, same thing. Same thing, double jointed knee, ball joint here at the ankle. So front kick, side kick, again, limited by the version 2 leg joints. Uh, double jointed midsection, awesome ab crunch, two at the neck. Don't forget the um, somewhat butterfly joints. I mean, let me see, did the original have this issue? Yeah, yeah, pretty much um, butterfly joints still, but not as much. Uh, rotation right there at the bicep, double jointed elbow, ball and peg here at the wrist. They're gonna be well above 20 points of articulation. I just kind of want to get this over with, so let's do, let's activate all those joints and do a superhero landing pose for father and son. So yeah, you can activate all the joints, as you can see right here. 
They're super poseable, just like the original. Let's talk about accessories. So when it comes to Gohan, let's talk about Gohan because he has the pretty much just the face plates and the hands, which we always look at the hands at the end of the video. Um, he pretty much just has the face plates. So let's just do this. So there is the grinning face right there. Here's the, oh, this one's awesome, the yelling face. This one's my favorite, just because it looks really battle damaged. Really like that one. And then we have the, this one, the kind of yelling face, not so angry yelling face. And just because I want to try it, let's do it. Just going to try it once. You can, yes, you can. I was hoping you can. You can put the damage faces, ooh, that's nice, on the original. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah. All right, that's nice. Okay, let's go to Ghost Koo. And Ghost Koo pretty much just comes, well, he comes with the most important part of this set, I think, besides the face, but let's look at the faces first. And there's the yelling. And there's the kind of neutral. Actually, I think we already looked at the neutral, sorry. And then here is the grinning. Now, here is my favorite thing about this. And I just really like the way this Kamehameha ball looks. That is dope looking. It has like a uh, almost crystal like look when the light hits it. I think this is one of the coolest Kamehameha balls ever. Yeah, I kind of would have preferred if it came with a beam, but <laughs> anyway. Let's come with the conclusion of the event exclusive Ghost Coup and uh, Gohan Super Saiyan 2. Is this worth the 90 bucks? Oh yeah, I love this set. It's pretty awesome. Love the the look of this Ghost Goku, and the uh, so much. You know, I think the only thing I don't like is Gohan's hair. <laughs> I do like the way he looks in terms of how battle damage he looks and everything like that. Ah, uh, Janelle says she likes the pearl hair. I am not a fan of it. I personally prefer the matte finish uh, orange yellow hair. Uh, that's just me. So you know, let me know how you guys feel down in the comments down below. Uh, last but not least, like I said. Oh, guys, try, try not to get these at scale. I mean, get them a little bit higher than retail, but I wouldn't pay what I've been seeing these guys go for, for is 200 plus. Yikes! That's a lot. <laughs> you wait for it to go down, please. I, I don't want you guys wasting your money. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always to know when I post new videos. And last but not least, if you're looking to pick up brand new toys that are awesome, you can go to www.dstarfigures.com where I'm the source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.